Sand and glass on a stick in the sun? Sounds too simple to be a game changer, right? But that's exactly what's fueling the fastest growing power source on the planet, solar. Today, we'll explore why solar is suddenly everywhere. Cemeteries in Europe are installing it, garden fences in the Netherlands are doubling as many power plants, and in Germany, they've invented a brand new word, Balkonkraftwerk, for all the tiny balcony power systems popping up. So what's behind the hype? Why is this so-called boring technology blowing past coal, gas, and even wind? Stick around and let's discover how one of the simplest energy sources on Earth is about to change everything. From 2010 to 2023, US solar growth handily beat every other renewable, including wind. But 2024 is when the industry really started heating up. And for those paying attention to the most boring energy tech on the planet, that's creating a unique investment opportunity. Here's the silicon sand trap. In the early 2000s, solar installation was priced at more than $4 a watt. For a 1 megawatt system, the size that might be used for a community solar project or a Walmart, that's $1.2 million just for the panels. But then China and the USA started a solar panel production contest, and both countries played to win. The US now has the capacity to produce 52 gigawatts of solar panels each year. That's up from 40 gigawatts just a few months ago. For some context, Solar Energy Industries Association's goal was for the global solar supply chain to hit 50 gigawatts by 2030. That's more domestic annual production of panels than the demand for the entire country, giving the US the opportunity to be a net exporter of solar. That production has had a tremendous impact on the price. Solar panels now cost less than 15 cents per watt. That's a 96% decrease in cost. The one megawatt system that powered a Walmart 20 years ago for 1.2 million would now just cost $48,000. All electricity generation sources costs are compared by using a metric called ELCO, L-C-O-E, which stands for the Levelized Cost of Energy. Solar's ELCO has dropped faster than every other electricity source. Between 2010 and 2023, the ELCO of solar fell by 70% and the cost of a typical solar farm fell by an additional 21% in 2024 alone. Solar has plummeted from one of the most expensive forms of renewable energy to an arguably the cheapest in 20 years. And solar costs are expected to drop even more this year. By 2035, it's expected to drop another 31%. Solar panels are getting so cheap that we're just putting them everywhere, says Bloomberg New Energy Finance lead solar analyst Jenny Chase. But energy decisions are not made in a vacuum. It matters what other energy costs too. And that's where solar has really started to shine. Natural gas gets the solar boot. Until now, the primary competition for low priced energy has been natural gas. A Bloomberg NEF report indicated that new construction, wind and solar farms are already undercutting new coal and gas plants on production costs around the world. But even with decarbonization commitments, it's been hard for U.S. companies to tear away from the intoxicatingly low prices of U.S. LNG. Bloomberg New Energy Finance 2024 annualized ELCO report also indicated that will not be the case for long. And I quote, New solar plants, even without subsidies, are within touching distance of new U.S. gas plants. Even more remarkable, that's with U.S. natural gas prices at only a quarter of the prices in Europe and Asia. And as this next graph shows, the cost gap between natural gas and solar is only expected to get larger. Solar's officially hit grid parity with natural gas, and there's just no going back. Which means most new energy that will be installed for the foreseeable future is solar. Already, 37 gigawatts of solar power capacity was added in 2024. That's double the additions in 2023. By comparison, natural gas added 1 gigawatt. In fact, two out of every three gigawatts added in 2024 was solar, and it just keeps going up. In November 24, solar was 98.6% of new energy additions in the US. Solar has risen from 0.1% of US energy production in 2010 to 6% in 2024. It's expected to rise to 40% by 2035. Now these were targets of the prior admin, so there is a risk of a change in policy but the economics of solar should continue to support rising demand. 
that's a lot of ground to cover and it's gonna make a lot of money for a very few amount of companies. Here's a shining light in the solar sector. For solar companies, the cost of goods is rapidly falling and leverage over customers clamoring for solar is increasing. That's the recipe for profit. But the solar sector has been beaten to a pulp over the last few years. That's not an accurate reflection of the reality of the industry's growth story. But if it's as simple as a piece of glass on a stick in the sun, turning electrons into money, you have to ask, which companies will flounder and which will make money hand over fist? The answer is simple, preparation and execution. The Katusa research team has identified a company that spent the last decade preparing for this moment in the solar industry. The revenues doubled for each of the past three fiscal cycles. They have a huge pipeline of contracted work, and they're working with some of the biggest companies in the world. Names you'd instantly recognize. It's under the radar of most investors right now. And that's the inside scoop on solar's meteoric rise, how this simple tech is changing the energy game. Want more cutting edge insights? Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss what's next. Speaking of next, our upcoming video will feature detail and reveal a solar company you're gonna wanna pay attention to. Don't miss it and thanks for watching.